Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a box in a bag. Yay! So we've got an unbagging unboxing to do today. And this has been sent to me by the wonderful people at diamondartgift.com. Yep, they asked if I'd like some more products. And I said, yes, of course. I love showing their products. Uh, I will just quickly show you this one. Um, my last unbagging unboxing that I did from them, I did show you it as a completion review. And then I have done uh, a sealing video where I've actually used sealer onto this little snow white silhouette and I just thought I'd show you how well the sealer has now worked on it so even though I have sealed it I did do it very carefully uh, trying to avoid any areas um, of the matte black because it's it's really different this I really do love it and um, it is in my unboxing videos if you uh, do want to have a look and I'll try and remember to put the link in if i don't give me a nudge and i will do that because I, I know i'm awful when i put my videos up and i think i'm sure there was something else i was meant to do so just give me a nudge i'm always happy to help if i can <laughs> so yeah i just thought you'd like to see that she is still matte black even though we have sealed her and all those gems are now solidly on there so yay so she's not getting any dust collecting uh on any little sticky bits that are maybe just outside where the gems were placed so yeah she's sat on my desk now and i just saw her as i was doing this unboxing and i thought oh i haven't shown you how well that came out after it had been sealed so yay anyway i'm sure you want to have a look at what's in these as always there are some special offers on at diamondartgift.com at the moment 70 percent off shipping always great to get money off shipping and if you put four in your basket, you'll only pay for three. Yay, so you get one free. So go and check out those special offers. Make sure they are still available because obviously this is special offers just as I'm making this video. If anything else comes up before I get this edited, then I'll add that in as well. But we have da -da -da -da, a box and a canvas. Yay. So we are on smashing the specials at the moment. So I'm on a definite specials kick. This has come really, really fast. Um, I think it's probably only taken about seven days from uh, when they said, right, we've got your order um, and we'll get it shipped out to you. So it's been really quick at the moment. Really pleased with that. So yeah, don't be put off by companies in other countries. Um, they are fairly quick at the moment on deliveries. And as I say, I'm sure this one's only been about seven days, so that's excellent. Right, what shall we look at first, box or canvas? Well, I think we can say what the canvas is. So we're going to leave the box till last. <laughs> oh yes. Hey. Yeah, it's all pastel and all colourful because we are expecting snow here in the UK. Uh, yeah, so I thought when I saw this one, well, let's just uh, look forward a little bit to Hello Spring, to a little bit of warmer weather. So a pen, boat and wax. And I just like the fact that it's just pastel colours. Um, and even though it's sort of like it's got gems around the outside with little flower shapes on, looks like we're going to be all teardrops around the edges. It's got like these pink and purpley pastel colours all the way around the edge. A little bit like, oh gosh, what are they called? Hydra um, what are they called? Hydrangeas. Yeah, the ones that have the really big headed plants on that have all made up. It's like one big flower that's made up of all smaller flowers. Yeah, hydrangeas. And uh, yeah, I love hydrangeas. I think they're really pretty. So let's give this one a bit of a flatten out. I just uh, needing colour in my life. It's after all the Christmas decorations have come down. Um, we don't have colour on our walls. Well, our walls, we don't have wallpaper. Everything's sort of like magnolia coated. Um, and we've more or less kept it like that since we moved into this house a long, long time ago. Because I always find it's easier to paint than it is to put wallpaper up. <laughs> so if we get scuff marks or anything, you can just rush out with your paintbrush and just cover over. So I need colourful things to go on the walls to just bring a bit of personality into it. A little bit of fun. So, yeah, we've got a couple of months to wait till spring. 21st of March, I think, isn't it? It's the first day of spring. So uh, I've got a while to do with this one, but I think it will be smashing the specials. Do you think he's going to see uh, the love of his life? 
because it looks like he's, he, he does look quite happy, although there's no mouth there. I can imagine that he's got a big smile on his face because he's got this huge bouquet of flowers here, look, that it looks like he's taking to somebody. And he's got one, two, three, four, five butterflies flying around him as well. Look, got all these flowers in his hat as well. I think these are probably wildflowers, so he's been and picked them himself. And then he thought, these are so pretty, I'm going to put some in my little woolly hat as well. So it's definitely spring, because it looks like, I mean, that's a pink hand, but I wonder if that's like a pink glove that he's got his hand in there. Um, and then he's got his little woolly hat on, just to keep him warm. Yeah, just uh, thought, yes, hello, spring. And it is one of the round ones, so I will be turning it into a plate. So yeah, I tend not to put these into uh, the square frames. I tend to, when I get anything that's round or a nice shape, cut it out. Uh, it will be going onto foam board. That video is coming up with the uh, putting canvases onto foam board. So keep watching. And yeah, I also like the fact that this is a little bit like um, a porthole. Because <laughs> it's got like wooden slats in the background. Uh, well, I don't know why that would make it a portal. Just ignore me. It's just the way my brain works. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I've got like wooden slats as though he's looking out from somewhere with like wood behind him. So yeah, it looks like he's uh, maybe he's knocking on the window or maybe that's the window in the door. You know, or maybe she's got a wooden fence behind there. I don't know. Oh, my brain works the way it goes. <laughs> If anybody else can figure it out, let me know. Right, let me grab my little tape measure. Oh, I've got a Scotty dog stuck to it. Hang on. Where did you come from? Right, we're back to pink tape measure because uh, Scotty dog tape measures jumped off the desk and disappeared somewhere. So, right. Uh, the actual picture size, if you do want to frame it, is 25 centimetres, which is nine and three quarter inches. The actual canvas size is your 30 centimetres. So if you wanted to cover over the edges and actually use it as a full 30 by 30 picture, or if you want to use uh, nail, nail varnish that. remover, gets off the writing from the edges, or if you want to just cover it over with something. Uh, I prefer to cut them off. And as I say, this one I will be cutting out anyway. The actual little plate round is 24, just over 24 centimetres which let's get those inches is just under oh, about nine and a half inches so yeah it's a nice little size oh i don't like them i just think the so cute and the little expressions without sort of having eyes and mouth is amazing all right so let's give him a flatten and let's have a look at his jams and see what we've got <gasps> And the price of this one is $4.99, which is about £3.92. Okay, ooh, ooh, lots of, oh, pretty colours. Very nice. Okay, so we're starting off with our lovely clear silver and a nice bright green. And ooh, that's like, it almost a purpley blue it reminds me of you know the glass jars that vick's chest rub used to come in <laughs> that's probably not a very good comparison but it reminds me of that gorgeous blue color i used to love those jars wasn't keen on the stuff inside but the jars the color of it was fantastic uh, and then a little bit paler blue and then we've got some aqua colored uh, aqua colored round with pheasants and lots of purple teardrops look at those gorgeous colours. and then we have some red teardrops <gasps> and then we've got some hot pink yay hot pink teeny tiny teardrops oh my goodness me and oh my goodness we are getting i'm ordering a lot i think it's because i'm ordering a lot of canvases with flowers at the moment so i'm getting a lot of these teeny tiny teardrops yay so i think these are going to be all in his flowers here, look, and on his hat, making up the petals and the flowers on those. And then these two colours are going to be all the way around the edges. And the aqua colour is going to be on the butterflies and on his hat. Oh, he's going to match his butterflies. Gosh, if one lands on his hat, he's not going to know that there's a butterfly there, is he? Because it'll have the dots on. <laughs> oh, 
good it oh and these have got teardrops on them as well these two pink ones oh that's lovely i love this one it's a very happy picture and uh, yeah definitely looking forward to spring at least it's not raining and it's quite bright so yay we can look on the good side of the weather being cold yeah no rain <laughs> All right, so let's just pop that one to one side a moment and let's have a look in the box. All right, so let's have a look in here. And it's a project. And let's see what we've got. So it's uh, a diamond painting box, DIY diamond painting. And one of those lovely little, uh, one of those diamonds to cut out on the front. You don't have to cut them out, it's just that whenever I see anything that's a nice shape like that, particularly when it's got a cut line around the edge of it, I just want to cut it out. <laughs> have scissors will travel. <laughs> okay, so we have pen, boat and wax and a little chain in there. Uh, let me just get the chain out. Come along chain, let me free you from the packet. Uh, it's a DIY lobster claw just a, a very basic standard lobster claw let me just get this one out there oh look it just doesn't want to come out it's saying no i'm quite happy in this packet leave me in right get out the chain's trying to grab onto the sticky so it doesn't have to come out all right let's see if we can get these onto this chain so i don't lose them I tell you if i put things down in this craft room they just vanish I have got Millie Moo with me at the moment. She is laid on my feet. Uh, she was actually um, in a basket when I came up. She just, there's like this thundering, there was like this thunder of feet coming up the stairs and she went in a basket. But uh, she is now out of a basket and laid on my feet. Uh, we've had to go out and leave her for a couple of days. She's been stopping with our friend, not completely just for a couple of hours, for the, a couple of um a couple of hours for the last couple couple of days. A couple of hours for the last couple of... Too many couples, Liz. Uh, yeah, a couple of hours one day and a couple of hours the next day. But she doesn't like being left because she thinks she's missing out. So, yeah, she's been very, very clingy at the moment. Uh, so, yeah, she's on my feet, so I can't move without her coming with me. Right, so do you want to see what this one is? It's fantastic. Look. <laughs> We're back to the cold weather. Oh, is that just not the funniest thing you've seen? I think it's brilliant. The expressions on those birds' faces are just wonderful. I'm sure the little sparrows that we've got that come to our bird feeders, if they could put hats and scarves on, they would. Because it's been exceptionally cold this winter. It's been exceptionally cold this last couple of days. So it's quite... Uh, Quite a coincidence, shall we say, that this one has arrived on a very, very cold day. We had a frost last night, so yeah, it was cold. We actually left the heating on all night, which we very rarely do. We've got lots of blankets and hubby has his hot water bottle. Uh, and I just have Millie, she just keeps me warm. <laughs> but yeah, when I saw this one, I just it just made me laugh so much. I, I've got to have that. So this is a real wintry theme. Um, hanger so after Christmas to have something like this to put up to replace some of my Christmas ones I think it's fabulous so they're all sat on a branch we've got some lovely coloured leaves and it looks like we've still got a few berries left as well and then we've got this one that's looking quite proud with his uh, little green hat there and his little like uh, orange scarf and he's sat up quite proudly saying yes I quite like this scarf then we've got the next one that's saying, well, how come everybody got a scarf and all I got was a teeny tiny hat? So he's not looking awfully pleased. <laughs> this one is me. Uh, yeah, because I always tend to get a really, really cold nose. So this one has pulled its hat right down over its face, look, covering its beak. And it's just got its eyes looking out and the scarf right up over its mouth. So all that's showing is the eyes. <laughs> definitely me 
And then this one. And this is the one that's obviously, yeah, the child. You know, the one that it's uh, like minus 20 outside and the child said, I'm warm enough, I don't need my coat. Or if they put the coat on, then they have it sort of like slung around the back of the shoulders and they've got their arms through the sleeves and they're hardly wearing it at all. And they're pretending that they're not cold, even though they're absolutely freezing. Uh, because they've said they didn't need a coat and they've had to put it on. So he's definitely, why have you put a hat and scarf on me? And it's the biggest scarf ever. Look at that. See, if he moved up next to him, they could share that scarf. That is a huge scarf. Look how many times it's wrapped around him. But yeah, he's definitely, yeah, uh, oh, just... <laughs> How much expression can you get into four little birds? I think this is just so funny. There was a couple of different designs um, of similar themes to this one, but that one just really made me laugh. I, and looking at it now, it, like in real life, it's just so funny. So, yeah, this one will be getting done for smashing the specials as well. Uh, the price of this one is $8.99 or roughly £7.06 and sixpence. So, but oh gosh, ah. <laughs> oh dear. It does have um, a dust cover on the back, a dust and scratch cover. So if you take that off uh, once you've done your project, uh, it will be completely clear. So all of these bits that look a bit frosted, which actually goes quite well with the snow on the branches, um, will actually uh, be clear. And it, we will just literally see the birds and the branch and the bits there. But, oh, dear me. And, uh, yeah, then it will hang up from its gorgeous little chain. <laughs> Let's give it a quick measure. Look, I've only just had that tape measure and I've put it down. Where has it gone? Oh, it's there. Oh, and I've just found my other one. <laughs> Do you know, I've been looking for this and it's just turned up on the desk next to me. Oh, that's strange. Okay, uh, yeah, well, I'll use this one because this has the um, measurements on both sides, you see. Oh, this one actually has the inches and centimetres on both sides, whereas the other one you have to turn it over to check. Right, so at its widest point, it is roughly 24 centimetres, nine and a half inches. And at its longest point, it's is that about the longest point yeah we're looking about six and a half ish inches which is about 16 and a half ish centimeters oh and the chain we'll do the full length of it is 45 centimeters which is about 17 and a half inches right so let's have a look and see what specials we are now putting onto our little birds. <laughs> oh dear, that's just so funny. I bet if Hubby sees that one, he'll say, that's just like you. <laughs> I don't know why my nose gets cold. I haven't got a really big nose, so I don't know why. It doesn't stick out that far, but yeah, it just gets really, really cold. <laughs> Okay, so we have uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different gems and colours. So quite a few different ones. So we're starting off with a nice pale blue colour and a greeny brown colour and a very pale peach and a fresh green and an amber colour and a honey gold and a lemony gold. And then a little bit of like a bluey grey. And then the specials are a green marquee. And then we've got some semi-spheres in red, which will be the berries, which is a standard thing on diamond paintings these days. And then we have some marquees in silver with an iridescent coating. And oh, we've got some little a teeny tiny rounds with a star stamped into the top of them. And again, with an iridescent coating. So, yay, very pretty. So, where do they go then? They are D, so, oh. Oh, right, we're just sort of like dotted around all of them as though they've got snowflakes coming down on them. Albeit, it seems to be the pattern on this scarf. But, yeah, looks like they've just got a few dotting down on them. So, it does look as though it is snowing on them, which is another reason why they've all got their hats and scarves on. <laughs> <laughs> that one does look cross, doesn't he? That all he's got is that little hat. 
when everybody else has got a scarf. Yeah, you just need to hitch up to this one, look. Come up to this one. Yeah, he'll share his scarf with you because he looks as though I don't want this on anyway. I don't think this one's long enough, look. It's not hanging down. This one's got its scarf hanging down either side here, look. Because um, I don't think that's his tail. That's his tail and that's his tail there. But I think that is the scarf. Yeah, it's the same colour as the scarf, look. So that's the ends of the scarf hanging there. And then this great big long scarf here. <laughs> Oh dear. Do you know, if I'm going to have something on my wall, I want to like it, but I also want to have it make me smile. And this one definitely makes me giggle. <laughs> oh dear me, those expressions. Yeah, excellent. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. Oh, let me put that chain in with these gems so that I don't lose it. So when I put my labels on them, I know where they're from and what they are. Let's get smashing those specials. Yay! Okay, well, we've had two seasons. So we started off with spring and then we came right back to winter with snow coming down on four little birds. Oh, <laughs> that <was> excellent. <laughs> Oh, I just love them. Absolutely brilliant. That is just so funny. Okay, well, huge thank you, Diamond Aggie, for sending me these. I absolutely love them. Do go and check out their website and all their special offers and all the new things that are coming out. There's loads of new Easter things coming out. Um, some of them are religious. Some of them are very, very cute and fluffy. So, yeah, there's lots coming out all in time for Easter. Uh, <laughs> If you've enjoyed looking at these with me, then as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family, see what we get up to next. See these completed. This is definitely going to the top of the pile. I love it. It's brilliant. Then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.